We've shared a lot of reports about electric and self-driving cars, but quietly big changes to electric buses are underway. One company says it's created an electric bus that can drive over 350 miles on a single charge to last an entire day on city streets. Proterra's Catalyst E2 series was revealed September 12th at the American Public Transit Association meeting. Proterra already has several electric buses in operation, but notes the average city bus drives about 130 miles per day, which meant having an enough battery storage to supply power all day was prohibitive. So the company said it redesigned the bus and battery to provide longer coverage, eliminating the last remaining barrier to complete zero emissions fleets. Now, Proterra buses have already driven more than two and a half million miles collectively, which the company says has saved over a half million gallons of gas and can save cities millions of dollars on diesel with no emissions. Four ships carrying goods to the U.S. will be allowed to unload their cargo following the bankruptcy announcement by global shipping company Hanjin. One ship began unloading in California September 11th with three other vessels expected to reach U.S. ports in the coming days. The Wall Street Journal reported lawyers for the company told a federal judge it had the money and paperwork to clear the ships. Hanjin is the world's seventh largest container carrier with Reuters reporting nearly $14 billion worth of goods are currently sitting on ships that aren't allowed to dock. Hanjin ships have been turned away at ports around the world for fear dock workers wouldn't get paid. Of Hanjin's 141 ships, Reuters said more than half have been prevented from docking and four have been seized. The company has filed for bankruptcy protection in South Korea and the U.S. while trying to raise over $90 million to help move stranded cargo.